Yeah, I think it's still good afternoon, uh, or still good morning, rather. Yeah, in fact, almost good afternoon, so good day uh, to everybody. Um, no, I, th I think we summed it up well yesterday. I think a lot of kudos to, to the players for, for showing the right sort of mental application. It's not easy. It was not easy for them to come back from uh, a match where we were, we were out of Champions League and then to respond like that with, uh, with, uh, with uh, diligence, with a lot of respect and humility for, for, for the club. We, we wanted all three points, but unfortunately we, we came away with one. We went into the match trying and knowing that we needed a win uh, to, to mathematically seal the, the, the championship, but uh, the reality was one point was still good enough, uh, particularly because also Cape Town City could mathematically still catch up with us up until the beginning of the match. And then uh, I think uh, when you look at the match, this morning I spent time watching the match again. And when you look at the match, I think the performance was relatively very, very good, especially in the first half. We created a lot of chances. Uh, we, we pressed very well from the top. Our build-up schemes were quite good. And even though we did not have too much resistance because uh, Mayo, uh, Martin, are not really very aggressive presses from the top and Cape Town City want to play a bit more on, on transition. But because we, we had worked a bit on trying to find certain areas of the pitch we, which we found and, and we found possibilities after we regained possession. And maybe the quality was not so good after that and to, to initiate the second phase. But, but yeah, relatively a good performance and a performance that we can be proud of. Um, of okay, of course. A performance that uh, doesn't speak about the result, uh, because in one moment you are happy with the performance or relatively satisfied with the performance, but but maybe not as satisfied with the result because we play at Sundowns to win every single match. Thank you, Shunza. Congratulations, coach. Thank you, Tsepo. Wrapping up the league with a couple of games to spare, what does it mean in the bigger scheme of things in terms of the challenge, the chasing pack? Uh, that. That's a very difficult question to answer because there's a lot of mitigating factors and in football, one plus one is not always two. Uh, the, the reality is for, for the betterment of South African football, for, for sure, we, we need stronger rivals and that's 100% correct. But whether or not that is uh, something that I've thought about no, because uh, fortunately it is not my responsibility, fortunately. It's a difficult thing to, to try to compete with Sundowns 100%. And I know that because I was once here and then I left and I went to the other side. And, and we did our level best to compete with Sundowns for, for the time that I was there. But the reality is that you, you need a little bit more than just uh, willpower and, and desire and maybe more than just history because at the end of the day, uh, part to everyday success is not uh, the past in isolation. Of course, the past can help in relation to giving you motivation to get to higher levels because the past dictates where you got and that should only be what history is used for. But in, in, in football, and they always say, the next game is the most important. Your, your current success speaks more than history. And I think maybe in a certain way, just generally as a, as a nation and in society, and, and maybe even in our football space, we, we, we tend to live too much in the history. And, and if you look at Today you, you, you speak of Bafana Bafana, if you speak of Bafana Bafana, you, you, you don't finish talking until you've spoken about the class of 1996. Uh, but football has moved on so much since 1996. Uh, but the reality is we still speak about that. Uh, instead of trying to find ways to, to catch up with where football is going and, and trying to... But yeah, as I said, unfortunately, it's a difficult question to answer and it's one that I've got to be very careful because I, I, I don't want to speak on behalf of other clubs. Uh, I don't have that right, but at the same time, uh, a good sparing partner 
always uh, helps the champion. Coach Amanda Lugard, in our press conference, he says um, the very same question that you've been asked, and then he says you cannot compete with sundowns. If I had to use an analogy of shops, sundowns are bullets, the rest of us are shop right in the UK. Those were his words. Yes, those are his words. Um, then even the buying power of, of the players, the personnel and everything. Through Sundowns winning the league five times in the long coach, what has been the key strength that you've been looking for? I mean, I'm going to mention some individuals. The police of Mudawa, I never thought he would shine in Sundowns. He's here, he's making things happen. I mean, Mutobi Mbala is one of those players who were under, you know, valued probably by most of the fans and football. People, but now today we see them shining. What has been the winning formula for Sundowns? Well, I'm not going to respond to what Coach Mandla said because a couple of weeks ago, we, and, and I don't know if you guys do remember, but I read in one of your articles where he said Pirates is on the same space as Sundowns. And then a couple of weeks later is, is, is Woodwards and ShopRite. And I don't want to go there out of respect because I think you guys then should be the ones that question uh, the consistency with the answers. Is, 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 and it's for you, the, the media, because uh, what we say as coaches is, is, is very important in educating the supporters and, and, and trying to, to, to paint a, a picture that, that is close to realism than, than obscurity. But if you, if you ask what, has, what is it that we have done, five championships in a row, that five championships in a row, you speak of different coaches with that five championships. So you, 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 you cannot go into that space without really considering the hard work that was done by the previous technical team under the previous leadership, one. Two, you speak of a different group of players because the ones that won the first championship before it became the fifth championship in a row, you still had Klompo Kekanas and Langamans and, and so many other players. And therefore, also without appreciating their contribution and their hard work to where this club is and, and, and the brand that we see today, the respect that the jersey now upholds and the pressure that this current generation has to play under is because of the previous generation and, the, and, 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 and they have to be recognized for their contributions. And then ultimately with everything being said, you then have a clear recollection of the fact that Mamelodi Sundowns and probably the biggest uh, strong point of the football club is its, its unity and the quality it has in all spaces of, of, of the club and the amount of work that has gone in to try to make the club a uh, better marketable uh, brand, uh, a football institution that wins football matches on the pitch, a football institution that, that is governed by good corporate governance and, and integrity and very good policies. And, and that can only happen when you've got very good leadership. And the, the leadership of this club is leadership that that, that assists the club to fast track its progress and to put it into a very good space. And I'm not saying that that's not happening in other clubs, but I know what is happening at Sundowns and, and that is for sure, I think, probably the, the greatest strength of, 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 of our football club is, is, is the hard work that is put in behind the scenes by, by various departments and, and, and cannot be attributed. To, to just a sing, singular individual or to, 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 to a specific group. It's a, it's a collective and a collective effort that comes from the Motsipe family all the way down to, 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 to the groundsmen and, and the security at the gate, you know, and that's, and that's the reality. Um, the togetherness and the hard work that is put in by everybody in this football club. And that is why you've got the success and the sustained success over, over years, even when there's a change of playing personnel or coaching personnel. Uh, last one. Uh, coach, uh, you said that uh, everything was really messed up in the league time, you need to respect. Is there anything still to do for some now in the future? 
Yeah. Well, mathematically, of course, the league is wrapped up. Um, but from from a from a from a respect perspective, we can't speak that the league is finished because first the trophy hasn't been handed over. There's four games still to go, and those four games speak to the mentality that you see outside, even on the pitch. Uh, normally, after wrapping up the league title, it's all celebrations, and there's no training session. But we 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 are people that are hard at work. You get home immediately at uh, 11, 12 o'clock. The first thing you start to do is you check the game and you check the game and, and, and you do the corrections of our, of our game against Cape Town City. If we take it for granted that there's no competition, this, this is done, whatever, we don't do that. And after you do that, then you've got three or four games of, of Royal AM to watch. You've got their game against Cape Town City to watch. You've got their game against Amazulu, their game against Tux in the Nedbank Cup in the previous round to watch where they came back and eventually won 3-2. You have their game against Marumo Gallants, their game against Morocco Swallows. So you, you've got a lot of work to do. And, and, and then you come in the morning, you need, you need uh, four cups of coffee uh, to, to try to stay awake and, and, and to be with the players on the pitch because the eyes are red, the mind is fatigued and, and, and you're in a different space. So, so of course there's something to play for. And, and even when we played Champions League, we, were, we qualified with three games to go from the group, but we still played those games with integrity and with respect because the brand demands that. The, 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 the responsibility of this football club and the players understand that very clearly is that there is no dead rubber matches. And, and, and all these games is, are games that present us with an opportunity to, to maybe even start thinking about different things that we want to do next season and start experimenting with uh, different formations, different positional uh, adaptations for, for certain individuals, uh, different build-up schemes, different high-press schemes. Maybe that's what they can afford us, but for sure 100% is uh, the language of de dead rubbers for us does not exist. Something so profound. He said that in all the games they play, they're never superior in terms of their possession, um, in terms of their chances created. Yet they win games um, because of pure grit, pure determination. Uh, they just have that fighting spirit. And sometimes this is they, Royal AM. Royal AM, yeah, yeah. Um, and sometimes they, they win games right at the death. Um, you guys, being as meticulous as you are, you've already probably started looking at them. I mean, profile teams a lot better than. Uh, other teams in, 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 in the country. Um, seeing that you're playing them, coach, um, what is it that, or how have you observed them as an opponent? Um, being, like I said, meticulous as you are, you already probably know what it is uh, to expect. So just going into that game, what is, what is it that you're expecting from a uh, very resilient Royal AM team? Yeah, look, already last night, as I said early this morning, is, is, is already starting to profile and work on, 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 on trying to help the players with information. We, we, we've watched how they play. Uh, they, they have a back three that uh, at this moment is without Ricardo Nascimento, but of course, maybe when he's fully fit, he starts at left centre half instead of Linguati. They've got Rijoto, they've got uh, Mangai, the, the skipper, uh, and, they, and they form part of the back three. And then in the midfield, they've got uh, a, lot of, a lot of options, Palani, Mashikinya, but at the moment they've got Msomi, uh, who played the last match against Cape Town City, and they've got uh, Matlasela, and everybody knows the qualities that Matlasela brings. Uh, the dynamism, the aggression to, to, to play in and around the box, uh, his ability to shoot from outside the box, and he becomes a key strength of theirs. And then they've got uh, wing backs, of course, uh, on the one side. You've got a Mukhaila that plays on, on the right, and, and predominantly you, you create uh, different dynamisms from that, because when you have a Mangai and uh, Idam Kize or Mukhaila on the right and wing back, 
And then you've got a Letswalo that is inverting and possibly joining Makupu up front and making it a, a two-pronged attack and, and coming from, from wide areas. And the danger is always on the far post, and particularly when the ball goes to, to Matlaba's side. Uh, and Matlaba's dynamism, of course, then on, on that opposite side, which is the left side, is, 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 is a side that does not give them the predictability because Matlaba has got a very good right foot and a very good left foot and therefore both the movements of staying on the line and inverting uh, are very very difficult to predict and 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 and, um, and in football that's the most important thing sometimes is to is to make the play of the opposition as predictable as you possibly can uh, but but a very good team that is well coached that's got history together uh, it's not a team that is just that is just Royal AM in its in its in its in its sense that it's a new team and because of the new club, but because 90% of the of the playing personnel comes from Bloemfontein Celtics under the same coach, and so there's longevity, there's uh, there's very good cohesion and 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 that is a very big strength of theirs is is in very difficult moments and maybe to to which is one of the reasons why possibly Eric Tinkler says they, they, they stay in the games and they grind out results. You need, you need a very good collective spirit to be able to do that. And that is built with time, and time of playing together over and over, going through good moments and going through bad moments together. So uh, we expect a very difficult match and a match that uh, has, 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 as a, as a team that's got very, very good players, that's, that's well coached, uh, John and his technical team are doing a fantastic job, and which is good to see. Uh, but we also have a very good team. We have a very good team. We've got very good players. We've got lofty ambitions. We want to be in the final. We're not afraid to say that. We're going to go on Saturday to, to work to be in the final and, uh, and try to do the level best that we can to make sure that we are in the final. Yeah. But you firmly on course for the table, the league, and then I could have up and the event cup, two games perhaps. Um, if you wrap up the table, do you as a technical team still consider it as a successful season even though you made it very clear that the Champions League was one of your biggest priorities? Yeah, thanks Lawrence. Well, the reality is we wanted to win the Champions League first and that's, that's where we should start. But like I said yesterday, I think it's important to understand that you don't win a league title. You don't win a league title merely because you've already won four. And merely because you've won the previous one. And merely because you, you won the last four. Now you start the next season with a God-given right to, to win the fifth one. You win it because you earn it over, over 30 games in the season. And, and, and there is no league title where a team plays and, and, and for some strange reason they win the league title because of their reputation and their names. There's work that needs to be done, there's a lot of consistency that is needed. And like I said even before, sometimes with the cup games you've got four or five games and, and you may not play as well as you possibly can, but you go for the result and you need a bit of luck sometimes to do that. In the league title you won't win too many matches if you don't perform consistently to your best. One, one or two bad performances is all right, but you can't ride on luck to try and win a league title. And, and, and then, with that being said, you put a little bit more respect to the work that these players have done. And to be able to, to do what we have done, I don't think uh, a lot of credit goes to the players for, 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 for the amount of hard work, sacrifices and, 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 and consistency. And to be at that level uh, week in, week out, and to not drop the ball in, with concentration, with intensity and with aggression, uh, then you've got to give a little bit more, more respect, you know? And sometimes we, it, is, it, is, uh, it is dimmed on, the, the, the achievement is, is dimmed on because of the previous achievements. And, and you forget to, to celebrate what you have achieved. And even with that being said, 
we all know how difficult it was for Mamelodi Sundowns to win the MTN 8 and we've delivered that. And last season we only won the league title and we didn't win any other trophies. So, so with that perspective and with a sober mind, you, you have a clear understanding that this season already has, is a better season than, than the previous season. Because this season, there's two trophies on the table instead of one the last season. So have we made improvements? Of course, yes. Uh, can we do better? Of course we can and we want to try and always try to, to strive to be better in all spaces of, of, of the football club. But a, a, a huge amount of respect and kudos needs to be given to this group of players because sometimes of course with the disappointment of the Champions League which was a very important target for us, that's, that doesn't take away from the amount of good work that has happened this season. and and and. and, and over and above just the, the development and, 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 and the growth that the club has taken, you see the development and, and the progress that some players have also taken. I mean, you, you, you see Brian Onyango, the way he's performing, you see uh, 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 Gaston Serino, how he's come back and, and his intensity. You see Andile Jali this season has been phenomenal. Uh, you, you see the return of Lebo Mabue and his intensity and, and how he comes on to help. Uh, Peter Shalulele has already improved with regards to the numbers from last season already. So if Lyle Lake has now even forced his way into, into Bafana, Modao is, is, is f without a doubt probably uh, first pick for, for right back at Bafana now, you know, and even though he was not in that space initially. So the, the individual growth and the development of some of our players is another win. And sometimes we forget that because we are so fixated on, on results and results. And of course it's important because football without results then is just poetry. Uh, we are in the space to, to deliver results. And, and I think we've done a very good job in, in that regard. And, but as I say, uh, when you try to, to chase perfection, sometimes even when you reach a good level of excellence, uh, you forget that uh, that level of excellence sometimes is worthy of a pat on the back, you know, and, uh, and merely because you are trying to chase perfection. Uh, when, you, when you reach a, a good level of excellence, you, you get a bit uh, disgruntled and, 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 and you forget to realize that actually what we, you have achieved is, uh, is something that a lot of people can be proud of. The treble, very difficult to speak about because how many times has that been done in, in South Africa? It's a very difficult achievement to do, so we don't speak about it. What we do speak about is always trying to win every single match, and that means winning every single day at training, improving and working hard. That means going into every match and doing the best that we can and improving from the previous match in terms of the performance. And if that is good enough to give us three trophies, then uh, all we can do, to be honest, is thank God for, for, for that blessing because uh, what we can control is the performance and at the end what we get out of the performance is, is ultimately what the universe decides. Can we take the last two questions? Hi, Pasha. Congratulations once again on the victory. Uh, I was looking at the players, you know, training these two groups, possibly maybe the ones that didn't play yesterday and the ones that played yesterday. There's a, for a lack of a better word, there's a, a sense of togetherness, brotherhood, you know, they, they love each other, they care for each other, they caress each other. And some of the players do not play, let's be quite honest, because they're getting some superstars here. Yeah. How, how, how did you guys build that, that, that brotherhood? What is it that you guys have done? Because that's something special for you to, to create, because, you know, if some players south, they can, you know, cause a bit of division between the squad. And secondly, Coach, there's a, a love letter there. Would you like to indulge us in regards to that? Thank you. Mm, no, it's not a love letter. It's just my notes for the press conference. So it's just to prepare for for, for you guys. And, and, and uh, uh, Shupi helps me a little bit to try to get a heads up on, on pos possible questions. So, so, so yeah. Um, yeah. You pay a lot of attention to detail. <laughs> Uh, with regards to the question on the brotherhood, look, I, you know, I, I always get the feeling, and even when I watch press conferences uh, everywhere, I, I always get the feeling that we, we as coaches have to come 
come in front of the press and, and to be made to look like we know everything and we are geniuses and, and we are responsible for, for everything. And the reality is, if you look at, I always say this every single time, that the game belongs to the football players. And we are just fortunate that we have a group of players that are good human beings. And when you have good human beings, there's, that comes with core principles and certain values that govern not just your outlook towards football, but your outlook towards life. And, and a lot of our players, if not all of them, have very good self-respect and that allows them to respect others. They've got very good self-love and that allows them to love others and, and, and respect their professions. And when you do that, you understand that you are, you are merely just part of, of, of a team and yours is to make sure that you make the best contribution that you possibly can. So we've done nothing, absolutely nothing. All the credit needs to go to the players for, for what they've, they've done and, 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 uh, uh, and how they embrace each other and support each other and love each other and work hard for each other. And if you go all over the world, you watch Man City, you watch Liverpool, you, you watch the most successful teams, Real Madrid even. Uh, Madrid against Man City was, was a clear indication of when you do have stars, that Real Madrid side is a striker like Benzema but they work hard for each other still. And, 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 and it still allows a player like Benzema to shine. It's the same with Man City. They've got uh, Kevin De Bruyne, Bernardo and, and Mares, and they've got superstars, but they work for each other. And they, they, in difficult moments, they stay together. In good moments, they stay together. And, and uh, the same can, can be said about, about this, this honest and hardworking group of players. Very honest and extremely hardworking. I have to be very careful because there's, uh, it's a sensitive space and it's a space that you, you, you look at the end, uh, Kaiser Chiefs are, are, are an important club for South African history and the football that, that, that the level of football that we have. And, and we have to also be, be respectful when we, when we speak about uh, the club, particularly because uh, that the case of Daung is, 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 is one of the major reasons why we have the NSL and the PSL. Uh, but I think um, as a professional club, and I, and I would go back to when they won the league title, I think Sundowns did give a guard of honour, I remember. Uh, they were coached still by Stuart Baxter, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and Sundowns did give a card of honour. Uh, I do expect, because of what I know about the club and the people at the club, the, the values and the principles that they carry and, 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 and particularly the professionalism from a, from a, from a sportsmanship sort of perspective, I, I would expect that they would do that. But of course, at the end, it is not a must. Uh, and therefore, if they do do it or don't do it, it shouldn't really, really matter. What should be very important is that we guard against trying to trying to create uh, animosity and a, and a rivalry that doesn't exist off the pitch. You know, so uh, we have to be very careful and and, and not shine the, the the efforts and the immense contribution that uh, the that the, the football club has had on on where South African football is at the moment. Coach, uh, extra time question from Titi and Tom. I don't know, I was thinking that I was going to tell you that already. <coughs> congratulations came from the inside in the morning. Yeah, you say congratulations. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's all in the football spirit, I suppose. Co Coach, I, I'm, I'm looking at you sitting here, and I'm, 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 I'm just going to stretch it a bit, looking at my observation. Headlink is a cheaper. Um, Mabudi and Busiet uh, Arrows, you here at Coach Manova. Uh, our football is getting younger. Uh, you can get into the office, there's um, Kobe here, there is 
in Kosanai Pirates, although he's more of a silent uh, you know, person. Uh, there is Chikeza Junior, Kaiser Chiefs. Our football is getting younger, coach, and it's coming back to where you once spoke about that football people don't have faith in local, in their own people, basically. Are we seeing our football shifting now towards our own handling our own? Yeah. Well, I, I don't know. Uh, it's a very delicate question because I think I think the coaching fraternity in South Africa is on on very very serious uh, human support, life support uh, machinery. And I don't hear a lot of us talking about it, but. And, and it's not for me to, to, to discuss because at the end, uh, to be honest, um, yeah, it's a sad, it's a sad, it's a sad reality. I see, I see a lot of things that are happening in football, and I and I ask myself if, if the coaching profession is really respected in this country. Uh, but to, look, we are here to talk about Nedbank Cup and. Um, I, maybe one day we will discuss this, but I, I, I do expect maybe the media to, to be speaking about some of these things. Uh, we, 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 we sit in a position where, from a club licensing perspective, there are certain requirements that are needed for people to, to sit on the bench. And then we have a lot of things that are happening in our country where people just sit on the bench and people just coach players. And what does that say about some of the, 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 the hours that some of us put in to, to, to work hard to get to uh, this sort of level? I, 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 am, I am not sure whether or not we are getting younger because, because we feel that is what is right to do, or we are getting younger because we feel it's cheaper labor.